presented by Funky Sheet. Anything up there? No, nope, nothing. Ah, there's a rocket though. Hello. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. I happen to agree. Ah, uh, it's eradicates. Level 16 at that. No idea if it's attacks more damaging than gust. Oh, I'll use gust. Oh, so now you use quick attack. That's fine. Fine. Really? Okay, Pikachu then. So I'm starting to dislike this last case. Charmander is my last Pokemon. I've, I've got a load of potions, but I'd rather use them in a gym battle than just a random rocket fight. Ah, Charmander's level 16. Which means that he is not going to be a Charmander for much longer. There we go, Charmeleon! Excellent. So my Charmeleon with about 3 HP is going to try and get me to the end of Mount Moon. Hello dear dude. Oh, 9 HP. God, Charmeleon's back sprite looks so stupid. I've uh, got a Zubat. The random encounters in this cave are ridiculous. Right, who are you? Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive and sell them for cash. Okay. See if Charmeleon can beat this rocket with only 9 HP. Well, it beat the Ratata, that's something at least. And a Zubat, okay. I will not change Pokemon because I do not have the option to change Pokemon. But I suppose I could throw go um, Geodude at the Zubat. Ah! Charmeleon's defeat is self-inflicted. Well, I will get back to that point and I will see you there. Ah, that's the ladder I was talking about earlier. Let's just see what's down here. Might as well try and cover as many of the battles and items in Mount Moon as I can. Hello. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon Gangsters. Cool. Okay, oh, he's got a Sandshrew. Okay, so Geodude doesn't really have much of a type advantage here. I suppose I can try Mega Punch to see what that does. In terms of 
damage. Not much. But it's okay. Okay. I'll stick with it, because Geodi needs to level up, so. And I'll finish it off with tap. Tackle. There we go. Good. Some attack didn't work. Okay, so level 12 Geodude. And a Rattata. So Geodude should be fairly effective against this. Well, at the very least, Rattata's not going to do that much damage to Geodude, so we'll stick with Geodude. So you could really do with learning some actual rock type attacks, Mr. Dude. Okay, so that's Rattata, so aren't we? Okay, you're leveling up fairly quickly. Got, got a Zuba coming out. Um, I will let Geodude get the... That's just rude. Geodude, you need to... Not yourself, him. Ah, good. Bad. Okay. Your assassins have upset me. What damage is that? Not too much damage. Okay. One decent tackle should do the trick. There we go. Very good. You did. But I know there's something over here. There is. It's uh, HP up. Alright, let's use that, might as well. Okay. Looking over here. Geodude's obviously got the lowest max HP at the moment because he's a lower level. I don't. His defense is pretty good. I'm gonna give it to Butterfree. I feel like Butterfree is going to have a weaker defence. I don't know. I should really look and check these things, but, you know. Anyway, what I'll do now is, um, hello, move on to the next, the bit where I was before. Right, here we are. I thought I battled you. Oh wait, no, evil and I lost him. Because I was like, yeah, because I was trying to get through the cave with half a team. Right, okay, so Geodude. Ah, we'll go with it. Let's see what damage he can do. Predator's taking off 2 HP of damage a time. Geodude's doing that. Yeah, Geodude should be fine to win this one for me. And then we can swap him. Excuse me. But the idea is, you faint. That's the one. Thank you. Do as you're sold. We're going to send out a zoo back. We will change this time to Pikachu. And a thunder shot, or a couple of them, should do the trick. Yep, there we go. That's Zubat dealt with. And we've upset somebody. It's always a bonus. Now, trying to work out the best approach for the next. I'm going to put Nidoran first. I think the next guy's got electric types. Oh, I think. Is this where. Yes, Moonstone. Excellent. Anything over there? Ah, uh, so you are the super nerd. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Don't really care, to be honest. You can have them. And then you get Omanite or Kabuto out of them. But I think you have to wait till Cinnabar Island to be able to use them. And, uh, really, 
you bitch. Oh, okay. That's not the move I was just using. I thought disable, disable the move that you just used. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I think you have to wait till Cinnabar Island to be able to do anything with the fossils that you get. And by then I should have a water type, really. So I don't think it actually makes that much difference. Yeah, we'll still need it around. I wonder if that Voltorb knows self-destruct. I hope it doesn't. I'm not quite sure it's going to matter too much. So there goes Voltorb. Nidoran is level 16, I believe that means he's going to evolve. And we've got a coffin coming out next, so... I'll go for Pidgey. Just to make sure that Nidoran doesn't faint. And let's go to a quick attack to start us off. Well, that's just rude. Ah, he's poisoned. Defeated Super Nerd. Okay, I'll share. And yep, Nidoran is evolving. There you go, I've got a Nidorino. Right, so what's that? Heat fossil. I'll take the Dome Fossil. Well, I don't think I'm going to really use it or the resulting Kabuto. I'd like to, I mean Kabutops is a really cool looking Pokemon. Right, let's just have a look here. I'll put Pikachu out first. I'm not entirely sure who I can get around here. Right, there's a look, load of... Hmm. Pidgey fainted. Just going through here. Tap in A just in case there was something there. Tap in A. Oh, there might be something up on this one. Helps if you don't fall off the thing, doesn't it? Ah, a great ball. I thought there was something up there. TM4 horsebacks. It contains whirlwind. Oh, that'll be useful to teach the Pidgey. Or Butterfree. Pidgey or Butterfree? Um, hmm. Right, I'm going to teach it to Butterfree just because Pidgey learns it at a lower level than Butterfree does. That's really the only reason I'm going for Butterfree. Okay, I think I can battle you up there, can I? If I can get up. Hmm, maybe not. Let's just have a look and see what kind of Pokemon lurk in this graph. No, it's Nekans. I don't really need Nekans. Go back there to do some grinding, maybe. If Misty proves to be too much of a challenge for me, shouldn't do. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokémon. 
No, not really. That sounds amusing. No, not really. That bush in front of a shop is in the way. There might be a way around. Cool. Who are you? Okay, it said a husband wants to trade Pokemon. What are you looking for? I don't have a Poliwhirl. 